Hello again. My thought for the day being Saturday and it's the first day we've had some sunshine. As you can see it's a bit of debris left on the road next door but I've been uh, sweeping up the front in front of ours to make sure it looks clean. And uh, my thought for the day is obviously Sadly, a number of people, quite a lot, lost their lives in a dreadful ferry capsize here in the Philippines yesterday. And my thoughts go out to the families that have lost so much. But also, when we have these typhoons, we're very fortunate in San Fernando region to not have the problem of major, major damage. There is flooding sometimes in San Fernando, but over the time that I've been here, some eight years, they've upgraded the sewerage system, or should I say the stormwater area around the city, so it's able to carry a lot more water out to sea. And therefore the streets don't get quite so flooded as they used to. But the thing to remember out here, is that everybody, not just me, not just you if you come here, we have inconveniences caused by the weather. It's part of living in a developing country where internet is maybe not as good as what we would expect back home, but that's not to say that back home is necessarily great either. In some cases they have problems too. But the thing is that we have to put up with these things. It's not a, it's an inconvenience, yes, and it can be very annoying. But you, we are very fortunate that we have sufficient resources from our pensions to put in place certain things that will make life just that little bit more bearable, I should say giving a thought to those that don't have the money to do it. When I first came here, it was a case of run to the kitchen drawer, grab a candle, light it with a lighter, and have a torch. That's how we got through when there was a brownout. You, we tended to talk then, as we do tend to talk when you have nothing else to occupy your mind. And here in the Philippines is no different, I'm sure, than the, anywhere else in the world. And that is that the people here, a lot, especially the young kids and the young adults, I think they spend far too much time on the internet. But who am I to say that? That's their way of communicating. It's funny when they want to talk to me, they send me a message and they're sitting in a seat three feet away from you. Instead of asking you, they send a message. Now, that can seem rather ridiculous, sometimes amusing, and sometimes really annoying. You think, why can't they just simply ask me? You get a situation where one of the girls asks the mother to ask me to go and get something. Now. What's wrong with opening your mouth and actually addressing it to me instead of asking the mother to ask me? It's like, I don't want to talk to him. I want to speak to mum and mum can ask him. So you have to train them <laughs> to realize that nothing gets done unless we start doing some normal things here. And back to what I'm talking about, when there is a brownout, life can be very, uh, disorganized. My cat, one of my kittens, has decided that it wants to die a young age. So it's sitting in the middle of the road. Oi, what are you doing? So, yes, I know you've had food before. And uh, now that the day has, it's what now, three, four days since we've had these dreadful storms, the rivers of the road, I should say, were 
clearly visible. Ah, oh, she's got some sense. She got out of the way of the car. Yes, so the water has subsided. I've been able to lift up my bent over trees, tie them back up to the wall so they can strengthen up again and we'll put more soil around them to strengthen the uh, the trunk in the ground. But all these things are nice. The sun comes out. You can get out there in the garden and start tidying things up a bit more. But for those that live in the cities like Manila and all of the outsiding, outside cities to Manila who were heavily hit by flooding, one thinks it must be really, really difficult for those that cannot afford to build a proper home above the what is a water level. So they struggle. There is no insurance as such that will cover that cost. So they all bandy together and they give the place a clean out and try and recover from just another typhoon. Now I believe there's another one coming in a day or so. So we'll probably get more rain. But it's a respite between the storms at the moment. And it's encouraging because it, as we all know, when the sun comes out after a storm, it's almost like a new dawn. And it's uh, time to gather one's thoughts again and be able to do something positive for the day. So I hope that you guys are doing something positive for your day. Getting yourself into gear, getting your plans sorted out, worked out your budget. Yes, I'm sticking to mine. And hopefully, in five months' time, I will be able to show you the benefits of going down, going down, going down. Not because I need to, but because we're spending unnecessary money. And it's so easy to do that as a foreigner. It's so easy to fall into the trap of saying, oh, it's only another thousand pesos. No problem. And that's where the money goes. If you don't keep track of it, it'll disappear. Just like I'm going to disappear now. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, press the like button. Bye now.